Doc's taking a break from the clinic to help Charles with some animals of a different sort. Two years ago, I got these honeybees, and I've been waiting like a patient bear to harvest my honey. Listen to him. That just kind of gives me the willies. To be or not to be, that is the question. Diane may have doubted. You're Why are we doing this? You'll be fine. With Doc on board, things were a buzz in no time. OK, get busy. They're on my legs. Smoke yes. my legs. Smoke my legs. Now, as the seasons change, Doc and Charles must winterize the hive. And that's where the honey is? That's where the honey is. And that's where the bees are. They're starting to get angry. Hold on. Yeah, Smoke. spray them. Holy moly. We had a whole bunch of frames in there, and all of them are full. You got to scrape them off. The bees? Yep. So yes, we're taking three out and leaving like eight in. And I think that should be plenty for the bees to survive the winter. It's finally time that I can start reaping some of the reward for having bees. Keep coming. All right, it's safe. Done. Done. And by the looks of it, just in time. Hey, I got something exciting. Look, Uncle Chuck's old timey cider honey. Did you put cider with the honey? No, but it tastes like kind of like apple cider. Wow. Look at that. Look at Man, that looks nice. I'll get the taste test now. Yeah. Now it's the taster choice taste hey, test. The proof of the pudding is in the tasting. I was really kind of skeptical in the beginning. This has got some wax in it. That is good. It's very good. <clears throat> they just <clears throat> sweet almost. It almost tasted like cider. It was fantastic. I like it. It's different than most honey, and I really like it. It's good. It's sweet. The entrepreneur. Good product. Yeah, that's right. That's what bees get you. 